Today, we're going to talk to Brandon Bayer, and we're going to find out how he got started in development, what he's up to today, and what he's going to be talking about at the upcoming JS Nation Live conference. This video is sponsored by Git Nation. Be sure not to miss the biggest JavaScript conference in the cloud happening June 9th through 11th. JS Nation Live will be three days of JavaScript talks and discussions with more than 35 speakers and over 25,000 JavaScript developers attending worldwide. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing JavaScript libraries and projects. Discover the future of JavaScript and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off. Brandon is the uh, creator of Blitz.js. Uh, so thanks for joining me again today, Brandon. Um, why don't you give everyone a quick introduction? Sure, thanks for having me. So my name's Brandon, and I am the creator and full-time maintainer of Blitz.js. Awesome. So what, um, what got you started in development? So uh, my dad is, a, is an electrical engineer. And so when I was in high school, I was like, well, that sounds kind of cool. Um, so I went to college for electric, electrical engineering, but during the, during those courses, um, I took, took a couple of software uh, classes, uh, that you had to take. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, and it was C, so it was like very low level stuff. Uh, but it was super cool. And so I got a job as a software intern in college. And so the first five years of my career, I was doing, um, programming C embedded microcontrollers. But I always wanted to get more into like more visual creative stuff because there was no visual to these microchips, you know, and, and so I uh, started learning web development and the uh, rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great when you can see something visually happen. Uh, it's like that, that's really what attracted to me to web, to web development as well. That's yep. amazing. Um, so I'm assuming that your talk at JS Nation is going to be something about Blitz.js. Yes, for sure. Awesome. So what, uh, what exactly will you be talking about? So I will be, uh, Blitz is still very new. So it's, it was created just or announced like just over a year ago. Um, alpha first alpha was launched just over a year ago. And so I'll be talking about the kind of the backstory about, uh, why I created it and the problems it solves. Um, uh, but the TLDR is that, um, we're aiming for Blitz to be the equivalent of Ruby on Rails or Laravel, but for JavaScript and React. Wow, that that sounds pretty cool. Um, so I've I've haven't done anything with Blitz, so I'm I've just kind of gotten the overview of it. It looks like it's it's um, based on Next.js or it's similar Correct. to. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so Next.js so is it, yeah yeah. Next.js is awesome uh, because it's like you know, a lot of people love it. It's really, it's a hybrid framework. And so it's really powerful, but it's also very minimal. And so it leaves a lot for you to figure out and set up. Like the, if you're going to use it to build a full stack application, there's so much you have to do like authentication, databases, all those things. And so Blitz uh, builds on top of, of next and adds all those things you need for building a full stack app. So we give you a database. Um, we give you a zero API data layer and, um, all those things. So it's like a real batteries included thing that out of the box, you can start building features. Wow. That's, that's, that's cool. Let's, let's talk about like zero API. Like, what does that mean? Good question. So it's, it's like the, <laughs> the big, uh, the big idea for Blitz, the big innovation. Um, so like if you're going to build a react app, any normal react app, you have to have a rest or GraphQL API, right. To get your data to the front end. Mm -hmm. Well, we were tired of that. And I was like, let's, let's get rid of the API somehow. Um, at first I thought we were just, it would, we'd have to do server side rendering. Um, cause that's one way to do that, but I didn't, I wasn't happy with it. Um, and then, so we came up with this, this cool idea that abstracts the API into a compile set step. And so as the developer, you just write functions that run on the server, import them directly into your components and you just use them right away, like a, a normal function import. And so there's no, um, you don't have to do manual fetching or API endpoints or HTTP response codes or all that stuff. And so it's a really seamless, fast experience. Um, because so you still get the client side rendering stuff, you know, like normal, but it just simplifies and, and speeds up your, your dev flow so much. Wow. 
Yeah, that, that sounds pretty cool. I, I'm going to have to dig into that. Um, you said it includes a database. What, what kind of database? Um, so we use, uh, we have Prisma uh, by default as your ORM mm -hmm. layer. Um, okay. So it, it it's an ORM. Prisma 2 is an ORM uh, for talking to your database, but also uh, manages your database migrations and your schema. And so it's, a, it's super awesome. Um, and so if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, but so Blitz comes with that by default. Um, right now it works with Postgres, SQL, and or SQLite and MySQL. Um, and then they have Mongo um, in like beta, I think it is right now, or early access. And um, but Blitz is database agnostic. So you can use anything. You right. can take out Prisma. You can use Fauna or um, anything like that. Awesome. Awesome. That Yeah. That that sounds like something I need to dig into. Uh, so maybe there'll be a new tutu, tutu, a new tutorial coming out pretty soon. That'd be great. Uh, pretty cool. So before we wrap up, is there anything that you'd like to add? Shout out anything at all? Um, I don't think so. I'm really excited for the talk and looking forward to seeing everyone there. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, be sure to join us June 9th through 11th at the JS Nation Live Conference to learn how to build full stack apps in record time with Blitz.js. We'll see you there. See ya. Be sure not to miss the biggest JavaScript conference in the cloud happening June 9th through 11th. JS Nation Live will be three days of JavaScript talks and discussions with more than 35 speakers and over 25,000 JavaScript developers attending worldwide. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing JavaScript libraries and projects. Discover the future of JavaScript and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off.